Over to you, Vicky. Okay, hello everybody. Um, there's no slides from me, I'm afraid, because I personally find it very difficult to read slides whilst listening at the same time. So I thought I'll just speak to you for a few minutes. So just to introduce myself, I'm Vicky Chen. I am a careers consultant at LSE Careers. Um, I specialise in disability and employment, and I've been working with disabled students and graduates and graduate employers for approximately 17 years now and established our services within LSE Careers about 14 years ago. So just to clarify the difference between the disability services at LSE Careers and the DWS, because often students come in and aren't quite sure who they should come to or what we do. So the disability and wellbeing service focuses on your experience whilst at university. So they will help you with study support and any adjustments that you need at university. What we do at LSD Careers is we support you in your transition from education to employment. So obviously we work with you while you're at university, but it's all about helping you with any job search that you're doing, any applications you're making, and anything really towards to do with what you will do work-wise whilst at LSE or after you've left. So the kind of things that we can do for you, well, the services that we offer is firstly, we offer one-to-one -one appointments that are specifically for disabled students. So those appointments are up to 45 minutes in length. So the non-disability appointments are 20 minutes and you have a cap of four per term. With the disability appointments, we have up to 45 minutes, so you don't have to use 45 minutes, but it means that we don't have time pressure in your appointments. Um, and also there is no cap. Obviously, we, you will have whatever you need and we have available to support you during your time with us. Um, in those appointments, we can talk about anything. What goes on, I would say what goes on in my Zoom stays in my Zoom. So it can be anything to do with disability. So we can be talking about disclosure, disclosing a disability to a potential employer. It, or if you're thinking about going on to further study, it can be talking about that as well. We can be talking about reasonable adjustments that you may need throughout a recruitment process or once you're actually in a job. It can be giving you, like I said, extra time for us to talk about more careers related things that can be looking at your applications but without that time pressure so really anything that you need because of your disability we will we accommodate in those appointments there's two of us running those appointments i would say that the the wider careers team is a very aware very disability focused team so everybody's been working with me for many years i think i'm the longest serving careers consultant there so everybody's very familiar with me and the work that i do so you can disclose if you want to to any careers consultant they will probably refer you over if you have any more complex questions to either myself or my colleague Edmund. So I do all appointments on Zoom. So if you wanted a Zoom appointment, you wanted to talk to me, that would be on Zoom. For any of you that actually want to go in and see someone face to face in, or in person, which I always think it is in person on Zoom, but if you want to be in touching distance of them, should we say, then my colleague Edmund will do those appointments um, on campus. We also run a, a range of um, workshops and sessions. So we do things like we're doing a how to identify inclusive employer session that's coming up in October, where we don't have a list of inclusive employers. People often ask that there is no such list, but there are ways and means that you can identify whether an employer is likely to be inclusive or not. So we're running a session on that in October. Um, and we have all kinds of things throughout the year with guest speakers coming in, um, with external disability organisations, and we're constantly developing that programme. Um, we have a, a question and answer session for disabled students, and again, things on disclosure and reasonable adjustments. And we also have a number of panels. So our two main panels every year are really, really fantastic one called Breaking Down Barriers, which is an alumni panel. So where we bring, bring in disabled alumni, all of whom I have worked with personally. So I can vouch for each and every one of them who've gone through their time at LSE, gone through the recruitment processes and are now working 
hopefully successfully somewhere and can talk about what it was like for them as a disabled LSE student going through the recruitment processes and going into the workplace. And we also have a mental health focused panel with employers called Talking Minds. And both of those panels will take place in Lent term on Zoom. Um, and then a couple of other things that we do that it's worth knowing about is we run an alumni mentoring scheme. So again, we have uh, this is going into its sixth year now. I'll be recruiting for it over the next few months. So do keep an eye out for emails off me and do apply if it's of interest. It's been running for six years and we've now got, or up until last year, we had 30 disabled alumni mentors mentoring 30 LSD students. And again, each and every one of those mentors is someone that I have worked with personally as um, when they were at university and they were coming to my disabled students appointment. So again, I can vouch for them. They're all absolutely fantastic. And many of them have been mentors for many years and some have actually been previous years mentees. So I'd like to think that that's a bit of a testament that it is a good scheme and it is something that's good for you to get involved in because they keep coming back for more. Um, and another thing that we do is we run a volunteering placement scheme in the summer for students, disabled students who would like some experience volunteering. And this year, we've just wrapped up this year's scheme and there was a whole range of roles. There was, there was roles in policy and research. There was roles as befriending in elderly care homes. There was just such a range of really, really fantastic roles as translating roles. And um, so there was a, a wide range and most of them were online. So people could access them from home. Another study you can go in if you want to, but there's a lot of flexibility there. Moving away from the actual opportunities to do, we've got a really, really comprehensive website. So if you Google LSE Careers Disability, you will be taken to our website. I will say we are in the process of updating that. So keep an eye on that because it's going to hopefully look even better and even fuller soon. But it is a, a comprehensive website. One thing students, all LSE students, always think is that our website is Career Hub. It is not. Career Hub is simply a portal where you book places on events, book appointments, or see where vacancies are. The LSD Careers website is, as you would imagine, a website full of information about everything to do with your career journey and your job search. So do take a look at that and specifically the pages for disabled students. There's all kinds of information on, um, again, disclosure, adjustments, employers, and frequently asked questions. There's, there's a whole range of information on there. And then finally, I just wanted to say, obviously I realise that the majority of you, if not all, may be viewing this on a recording. So we're possibly not going to get that many questions, in which case, if you've got any questions, please, please do not hesitate to email me. I realise that Archie has very kindly turned off the chat for me um, so that I wasn't getting my captions covered, but I will put my email in chat and maybe if you can turn it on later, Archie, um, before the end. So please feel free to reach out to me directly. I will happily book you into an appointment to have an initial chat with you. Um, if I can't help you with what you're asking about, I will certainly do my best to signpost you to somebody or a division that can. And also, you'll also find contact details on the disability web pages. So please do get in touch. There is nothing that I am not prepared to discuss and help with if I can. And please don't feel, you know, embarrassed or that a lot of people wonder whether, you know, they're eligible for disability support with us. If you have a disability, you are eligible for that support. So please do reach out. Okay, and that's. No, I'm going to stop talking and pass back to Archie and Aveline.